What is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be doing a giant like collective haul of everything we got for the baby, including gifts from the shower and just other gifts that people might have gotten us, even not for the shower, things we've bought for the baby, etc. So this is like a huge haul of everything we have so far for our baby. We are first time parents, so I know it can be overwhelming trying to choose things for the registry and decipher what you need, what you don't need. And I feel like everyone's situation is so different, but hopefully this video helps as well. If you are expecting and you're first time parents and looking for some inspiration, maybe on things to put on your registry. Honestly, I still have a lot to learn as well. So just going to disclaim that. And like I said, everyone's situations are different, but if there is something you think that would be helpful for the first few months, leave it down below in the comments. If I don't already have it, something that I need to pick up, but yeah, let's get right into the haul. So I guess we can first start with the thing I'm sitting on, which is this chair. This is a glider rocking and reclining chair. I got this off of Indigo, Chapters Indigo, actually on sale. And it is the Storecraft Wingback Serenity Glider. Plus it also does have two charging USB outlets on the side. It does kind of charge my phone very slowly, but I feel like if I'm sitting here anyways, it's kind of nice just to have it plugged in. We do have like an extra outlet kind of close to the chair, but if that's being used for something else, then you can plug the phone chargers into the chair, which is cool. And then it is a manual recline. So this was a gift from my aunts and my grandma and my cousin. I think I only paid shipping and tax for this one. So kind of paid for it, but mostly gifted. I am so excited to use this. I've been sitting in this like every single day since we got it, breaking it in. It was a little firm, I would say when I first got it, but it is coming along nicely now. And I'm sure we will use this for many years to come and for many hours with the baby. And that was one thing lots of people like stress to me is get a good chair. It took me a really long time to decide on one, but we ended up going with this one. Again, here's kind of the overview of it. And here's the side of the chair. So this is the manual recline and then the two USB charging ports. And it just plugs into the wall over there. But honestly, a super cute neutral type of glider. Yes, it is a light color. I'm sure it will get dirty and stained, but we do have a little cleaner for it. So I guess there's that. All right, the next thing is our car seat. We went with the Nuna Pippa. I made a whole video on this, I feel like before discussing a car seat. We actually ended up getting this one on sale at Bye Bye Baby when they were closing in Canada. So we paid 480, I think Canadian, when they're usually like 500 something. So honestly, a pretty decent deal. We don't have the like RX versions or any of the other Pippa versions. We have this one or the light. So we decided to go with the regular Nuna Pippa because you don't need a base for this. So I thought it would be nicer for traveling in case we you know, have to take it on a plane, then we can still use it in a rental car or something like that. Here's the base for it as well. So that is the next big thing we have. All right, we are now downstairs, but that's because our stroller is down here. So we ended up going with the Nuna Mix. I did find this on Facebook Marketplace actually, secondhand for I believe 800 dollars and it normally retails for like over a thousand here in Canada. We did save a little bit of money on this. Damon and I did buy this for ourselves because we found it on a good deal. Although this is a 2017 model of the Nuna Mix, so it's not the Nuna Mix Next and it doesn't have all the like upgraded features of the Next, but I feel like there's not too much of a difference between the two to be honest. Like it works good and it's in pretty good condition for what it is. So I did want the Nuna system just to like keep with the same brand plus it has the ring adapter for it so we can take this seat out and then put the car seat in it so I just thought that would be easier since I do go to the mall and planning to go for walks a lot just to like take him out of the car and put him in the stroller with the car seat or we could like use this as well because it is safe for infants like the seat is good for infants right away but I know this one is a little bit smaller than normal or other strollers so I don't know how long this one will last us but we did get a second hand that's my tip for you is to shop Facebook marketplace as well especially for like bigger ticket items keeping on with the bigger furniture 
favorite pieces. We also have this crib. I believe it is Baby Leto. The brand of this one, I don't remember the exact model, but we did get this gifted to us, which we are so, so thankful for from Damon's mom. So here's kind of a look at the crib. I absolutely love this like light and dark contrast to it. This is mine. This was gifted to us. It is like a little music sound machine box that they can like press little buttons and it makes, you know, sing some songs. This was gifted to us by Damon's grandparents. And then I bought these from Babies R Us. This I got off of Facebook Marketplace as well because I know these are expensive and you don't necessarily need to pay the full price for it. So I think I paid like 70 or $80 for this one, which I'm pretty happy with. And even if we use it only for a few months I can resell it or keep it for the next baby and then we also have this little baby blanket on here it won't stay on here when he sleeps obviously but that was also gifted to us it is so so soft and very cute and final things for like bigger nursery furniture obviously this dresser I'm going to show you everything that's in it and then we did do the little changing pad on top so this is the skip hop one and we were gifted this off of our registry and then this is a little night light and then this is also a little music box both were gifted for us and then Damon and I actually had these from before okay now on to the more fun things in this haul all of the like little fun baby things. So I tried to organize things in piles across my room to try and keep it organized, but let's start with everything for like sleep, the crib, etc. So the first thing we have is this little breathable mesh liner. I'm not going to use this until he's like actually rolling and stuff in the crib because I'm kind of terrified of like babies getting their limbs stuck in the crib. I've seen videos of that. I wanted this. I know like you're not like supposed to use this especially when they're newborn so I probably won't use this right away but I do think that this will be handy as the baby gets older and kind of like is rolling around and moving around so they don't like get their limbs stuck in the crib. It is breathable. It is mesh. That is the first thing we got and that was from our baby registry. We also got a beautiful little sheet as well this is like the jersey cotton it is so light and soft and I love this green kind of neutral color we didn't also really pick a theme for the nursery because it is technically still in our room and I wasn't gonna put that much effort in until we like move and if he has his own room then like to decorate it as he is a toddler or something but moving on the next thing I'm super excited for this is the hatch rest sound machine I've heard so many good things about this like if you are on any sort of baby I don't know side of research a lot of people I feel like recommend this we did end up going with the second gen one and this was gifted to us off our registry it is also a night light which will be great for late night feeds and changes and then obviously plays sounds and I hear people still use this like well into toddlerhood as well so it will hopefully last us a really long time with either this baby or the next baby if we have one etc so very very excited about the hatch sound machine we also got this baby monitor this one's not Wi-Fi again heard horror stories about Wi-Fi ones so I did not want Wi-Fi it has its own monitor that it connects to I assume through like Bluetooth or something so we did get this right now we're in a small apartment so I'm not too worried about it because I'll be like literally in the next room but when we do move eventually this will be nice to have if we're on different floors and then for swaddles we have this one zip up swaddle in case he doesn't like being like actually swaddled and then I have two or actually I have three kind of like bamboo type of swaddles very light very stretchy but I love this one because it is ramen how cute then we have like two little tiny like soft blankets or like loveys people call them I believe which I don't remember calling it that when I was little but there's also this one that hooks on to a little pacifier and it's a little dinosaur we got gifted this little dream catcher for him and we're also gifted this nice little blanket which will be perfect for the winter okay moving on to kind of like nursing supplies I did get gifted some breast milk storage bags so that's great I also wanted a manual pump so I went with the Harmony Medela manual pump so I didn't really want an electric one because I just find those are loud and kind of inconvenient to me I don't know why but I got this as well I got some of these reusable nursing pads these are huge though so kind of confused on how that's really going to fit in there but uh comes with like a little storage bag and a wash bag as well and then I also have this little nipple butter 
So yes, here is the Hakka as well, but this one's not really necessarily like a pump, I guess. It's more to kind of catch letdown, so I don't know. Got that. Heard it's good, and then I also have the Earth Mama kind of nipple butter as well so two different types and that's what I have for nursing also yes most of this was gifted to us and I'm very very thankful for that we only bought a small amount of things in relativity to what I have and very thankful this is like the first grandbaby and first baby for a lot of us so yeah he is very loved and very spoiled already <laughs> But moving on to kind of bathing supplies, we don't actually have a bath in our apartment right now. It is a stand sh up shower only. So we bought this little bathtub for him. I thought this would be the easiest way to give him a bath. Um, you can also just use like the sink, I guess, for the first little while, but I just wanted like to have like an actual bath seat that we could put in our shower and then just easily dump it without hopefully making too much of a mess. So this is the Angel Care two-in-one baby bathtub then we also have lots of bath toys for later this we got as part of like a registry gift so they're like little uh, fish squirty type toys and then we also have a set of farm animals that I believe also squirt water probably won't use that right away but we'll use that eventually we got one hooded towel which is great yes you could use like a regular towel but hooded towels are sometimes nice as well then we have this baby shampoo and another baby shampoo slash body wash also little random things for the baby this is all natural bug spray and also some linen mist as well now moving on to our kind of baby safety category i guess you could say so the first thing we have is this electric nail file i am so excited to use this it's the haka one but i heard electric nail files are so much easier than trying to clip a baby's nails and a little bit safer as well we also have a little thermometer we actually have two types of thermometers so the first one is like the forehead one that you don't have to like actually like touch them and then the next one is kind of the three-in-one thermometer um, for the underarm rectal and oral so obviously not at the same time <laughs> but we have two types of thermometers i heard this one's a little bit more accurate for newborns and then we have this one for later on then we have the little frida derma cap i think um kind of brushes for the bath slash i don't know hair brushing in general then i also have the nose frida next thing i don't really know if it qualifies as safety but is the ergo baby baby carrier and i'm very excited to use this again heard good things i hope it works for both damon and i and it's really easy to put on which i love easier than like a kind of wrap soft wrap carrier i think is what they call them so very excited about this we got gifted this from our registry we have some sunshades for the car as well to keep the sun out of baby's eyes then we also got gifted this like car camera monitor instead of using a mirror i heard good things about this as well so it kind of just plugs into your car and then this sits on your dash as well so you can just like look quickly at the baby instead of trying to look in the mirror and then look in their mirror as well to see the baby i heard that this was a little bit easier and faster so when i'm by myself i feel like that's going to ease a lot of anxiety and it also helps at night because then you can see them easily on the baby monitor thing so I'm excited to test this out then lastly for baby safety stuff we also have some medicine of course I did get some Tylenol children's Tylenol we have colic or gripe water drops and we also have baby D drops since I do plan on nursing I know they need some vitamin D so we also got that we we're also gifted this pack and play which I know we will get a lot of use out of because you know going to grandma's house and and going to Saskatchewan and stuff to visit family. We'll definitely be using this a lot. We also got a mattress topper for it. So that's what's in here is like a little like extra topper for the pack and play, which I know is not like necessarily needed, but I just like that this one was breathable and stuff as well too. And we didn't really get a like play mat or anything. So I'm kind of like wanting to use that as also a play mat and tummy time and things like that. Okay, moving on to more fun things. Well, kind of fun things. We got a ton of hangers from the baby shower. So we literally have five packs of 
baby hangers for all of his clothes. Plus I bought another one which is already hanging in the closet, but I thought these were good enough to show. So a ton of hangers. I got a few of these bibs, these cloth ones for like drool, spit up and stuff like that. And then also this cute little festive bib for Christmas. All right, next thing is my diaper bag. Of course, it's the Lululemon New Parent diaper bag. I am so excited to use this. I've been loving it already. It is so sleek and simple. And then of course, you know, you have the typical things in here like diapers, wipes, burp cloth, a change of clothes. I do have this packed right now for the hospital. So be sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna do a full what's in my hospital bag slash what I'm taking to the hospital for baby. So that's everything in here. And then for clothes, I'm not gonna show you everything because we would literally be here until tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you a quick overview of the things we have already. So these are the things that were already hanging in the closet that I've washed and stuff. So we have a few pants. We have this cute little puffer jacket for the winter. And then again, some more sleepers. These were the bibs that I showed. We also have a pair of socks we were gifted for the shower. This cute little sun hat. And then we have a few more of these hats. Actually in here, this is where most of his clothes are in the dresser that I've like washed and put away. So we have some uh, bigger sleepers back here. These are also pants. Uh, these are short sleeve body suits, long sleeve zippered sleepers. These are all hats. Got some more socks. And then these are long sleeved onesies. And then this is everything from the shower. So we have quite a few like matching sets, lots of pants, some like themed outfits and stuff, which is cute. Again, bigger size sleepers. Honestly, so, so many clothes. This was really cute, I thought. Lots of pajamas. So not 100% sure like what exactly you actually need for a baby, how many clothes they go through, but this is definitely feeling like a lot right now. Also, while I have you here, I'll just show you everything kind of in the change table slash dresser. So these are size newborn, and then we have like some size one diapers back there. Again, not sure how big the baby's gonna be, so we got both, and then we have like a variety. So we have like Huggies, Huggy special delivery, we have Pampers, then we also have different kinds of wipes as well. These are the Kirkland brand. These are all the passies that I still need to sanitize because we got gifted them from the shower. Again, you don't really know which kind of pacifier the baby will like or take. And then I believe this like little white one was part of a registry gift set. And then I also have a few passy clips as well. We have lots of different types of diaper cream in here because again, you just never know like which ones are going to work. So we have a, a pseudo cream and then we have like this tiny little sample size one that probably isn't gonna do much of anything. And then again, just like some sample wipes and stuff in here like that. These are all of his burp cloth slash um, swaddly type things. Over here on the side, we got gifted this pack of wipes and diapers. And then I have more wipes and more diapers over here kind of being stored. And then in his bottom drawer, we have extra sheets. This is an extra crib mattress protector as well. We have some stuffies that are not in his crib right now. Oh, where's the face on this one? There it is. This one goes with a book. And then we have this little fun chicken toy and this little pickle knit toy. Some mini shoes that were hand-me-downs and gifted to us. And that's what's in the bottom drawer here. Okay, this is what I have for feeding supplies. So I do have a bunch of different types of bottles as well. So I have this type of Avent one, a Dr. Brown's, and then a different type of Avent one as well. Again, heard good things about these brands. So that's what I started with, of course, don't know if it's going to work, but uh, then we can just get different ones, I guess. We have these little cute snack cups for when he's older, and then also these like little fruit feeders, so you can like put frozen, where's the other one? You can put frozen fruit in here and they can like eat it and it's kind of nice for teething as well. And it has a bunch of different kind of like nipple heads, I guess, for it, for different types of fruit. We have this sippy cup as well. I thought this was super cute. This is from our shower. Actually, most of this was from our shower, except the bottles. But this was also from our shower. It's like a little silicone 
bowl with a like spoon and fork for on the go. And then we have a ton of silicone bibs as well. So we got some ones with like dinosaurs on it and then like just like plain ones. I love these because they're super easy to clean and I feel like less messy than cloth bibs. We also got gifted these. These are like little containers for purees and stuff or like fruits, cereals, snacks, etc. for on the go, which is super helpful. We also have this bottle drying rack to go on our counter. And last thing in the feeding category is this portable high chair. This like clips onto the end of the table. I think this is gonna be super handy for when we have to, again, travel, go somewhere, or even go to like grandma's house or something like that. Then we can just take this and clip it onto the table. They don't have to necessarily get a full high chair or even when we go to restaurants just to bring this with us because I know not all restaurants have high chairs and whatnot. So I feel like this would also be an easy option if we needed to. Okay, and last category is like toys and books and stuff. I'm not gonna go through everything like super in detail, but again, we got a bunch of like of these hard kind of cardboard books. And then we have, you know, the classics like the Dr. Seuss type of cat in the hat, are you my mother, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, go dog go. This kind of like sensory book, which is super cool. And then, you know, just, this is actually like more of a uh, adult parody book. So <laughs> Robert Munch, love you forever. This is the book that went with the little octopus. This one is also mine, but being regifted to baby because this was from my grandparents. So regifting that as well. So we have quite a lot of books already and I'm just keeping them in this little cute tote for now. And then we also have a little tote for all of his little, I don't know, toys and things, I guess. We have this little car seat toy, or you can put this on the crib as well so that they can kind of wake up and play with this instead cute little giraffe stuffy. We have these like silicone kind of teether block toys. This is a tummy time mat that you like put water in and so they can like play on it. It has like little fish and then it kind of feels like gel, I guess. We got gifted this little dump truck that makes sounds. This was handmade for us. It's like a little baby Yoda rattle, so cute. I have this tiny little rattle toy. We have this little silicone teether. Lots of silicone teethers actually with like blankets and stuff attached. We have two, one fox, one elephant. Another teether. These are like suction cup toys, I guess, that you can play with. Great for restaurants. Black and white cards, more black and white cards. A black and white thing that you can like clip on to the stroller or something. So that is everything we have for the baby so far. I am 34 weeks already and I feel like we are pretty much set for the baby to come anytime now. But if there's something, you know, vital that you think I'm missing, leave that in the comments down below and let me know. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining to see everything we got for the baby. I know it's a lot. You don't technically need most of these things but it is nice to have and I'm so so thankful and blessed to be able to be gifted a lot of these items by our friends and family members so that was very helpful for us as well setting up for a baby and we are so excited to meet him thank you again if you made it all the way to the end of this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and Lululemon content and I will see you in the next one bye everyone